Yes, please. I didn't really plan to do this, but um, I was asked to contribute, you know, stories to the list, and realized I was kind of having a hard time, hard time doing that, and just because pretty much every moment with Grandpa was consistently a pleasant moment. Um, for me, he kind of epitomized the, you know, what human beings are capable of. He kind of set the standard. And he didn't do it in a Superman kind of way. He did it in an average man kind of way, whether it was as a husband or grandfather, soldier, or Christian, any of those things. And, uh, you know, I've always, I always looked up to him, and I always said, like, Walter Payton's my hero, but it was really, really Grandpa. It's really both of them together. You know, and that's that's the glue that held this family together and has created such amazing people and as uh, preachers alluded to you know other families have the the drama and infighting and things like that and you know we really never had that and you know that in and of itself is kind of a, a miracle amongst people it's just not human nature but we've able to overcome that because we come from genes that are Above the standard, <laughs> and um, Grandpa also had a, a sense of humor. And I just as people were talking, I kind of remembered one moment when uh, Grandma asked uh, Dick, "Do you think I'm pretty?" And and his reply was, "Compared to what?" And I always thought, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, it's classic. Like he's he never he didn't rehearse it. You know, he's not a stand-up comedian, but when he got him in there, he got him in there. So. But, uh, but anyway, I just felt bad. Like, I, you know, I haven't been to a lot of funerals, but, you know, everyone's been impactful, and I've always kind of wanted to say something, like Jack, you know, and just I never had to, the courage or whatever it takes. But um, but I, I just probably couldn't live with myself if I didn't say something. So thank you. Is there anyone?